Shut his name and walk back to you. Today's episode of the day, we're doing the top five things we should bring back in WW2K17. The game is coming out very soon, uh, two months now. That's very exciting. Um, obviously, if they have pre order, can play Goldberg with Suplex City mode. Um, I'm actually going to look at this real quick. I haven't seen it. Uh, Okay, what does it say? So, it says, you go to unlock new arenas every week throughout August. New, new, uh, oh, so it's like, suplex is like a new mode, I think. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then there's the song right in. But, let's do, uh, let's talk about the five things we need, they need to bring back in 2K17. Number five, we have... GM mode. Now, if you don't know what GM mode is, it's pretty much um, where you are general manager of Raw, SmackDown, and you get to draft people and you get to become the best brand. Um, they did back, have it back in 2005, 6, 7, and 8, but they did get rid of it for some reason. I don't know why. I don't think many people were that interested back then. But we all want it back. They shouldn't really call it general manager mode, they should call it the draft. And you could either do or smack them, or even add on NXT. That would be really cool. Have NXT to replace ECW. You know, maybe we could have from Raw go to NXT. That would be that would be really cool. But um, yeah, hopefully they bring that back. Number four, characters that should have been in last year. Um, like for example, the false horse horsewoman. Uh, it was Bailey, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte. They all should have been in that game because when they came to the main roster, it was they should have at least been added in because the creators of the game should have had enough time to at least add in a few moves. But yeah, that sucks. Um, I wasn't that happy, like why they didn't, you know. But, oh well, you know, they should add them in. Uh, number three is uh, Bring War NXT Superstars. Because last year, these are the superstars we did have from NXT. We had Finn Balor, Simon Gotch and Aiden English. Did we have any Divas? We didn't have any divas whatsoever, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that was it. Only three people from NXT. I can't 100% tell. I know Owens came, and um, Adam Rose, and Sami Zayn, but they were really on the raw roster, and they should have been in the game anyways. But um, I'm still pretty bummed that... Um, we should have had more. Like last year, there was enough for a lot of people to be in. A lot of people. But um, this year, hopefully, they bring in the new people who come in. Or CWC, maybe. That would be pretty cool. You know, add in the people who are training right now. Um, at least the winner of that, hopefully, they, uh, the person who wins uh, is, is the winner before the game comes out and they can add them in. That'd be really cool, but unfortunately for now, we're gonna have to use a create uh, a creative superstar that somebody's already created for us, and that's not really the best, is it? But um, oh well, we'll have to deal with that. Number two, I uh, know many people have asked this, but I have. I'm a big, huge fan of WWE, and I probably would do most things just to get some characters. And what I'm talking about is. The expansion packs, not not the packs where they use Hall, Hall of Pain or you know Christian I don't know Christian mode or something like that. Not the showcase modes. The expansion packs where you get people. The only ones I had last year was Legends, Hall of Famers, and Future Superstar packs, which had Future Superstar had Samoa Joe, Blake and Murphy, and I think they had. 
and somebody else. I'm not really sure who that was. But they should have more people, really. That was pretty annoying. But, um, yeah, more expansion packs, please. You could at least have all WCW. Because, remember, Goldberg is from WCW. They should probably have WCW packs. And maybe even a couple of showcases them. And number one, which most people might agree on me, more matches, like more tight matches. Um, so they should have, ooh, let's see, a Harris hair match. That might be cool. Um, I had a suggestion, mask vs. mask. Uh, we've had them before. Um, there's loads of matches that they could bring back, or even just bring. Um, with the Battle Royals, they only have a selection of few numbers. Please give a selection up to 40 or 30, because they should have like, oh yeah, 5 man Battle Royals, 6, 7, 8, and we can choose a number, because I would like that more, and I could have, like in Universe mode, they could have a number one contender. And it would automatically put them to number one. Because otherwise we have to set it ourselves and that really sucks. So adding a match for only Universe Mode now. Where it says number one contender. That would be very, very cool. Um, apart from that, I think the... Uh, I think the uh, amount of effort to put in for the superstars. And I think... Um, but the characters are enough for us to play. Uh, thank you WWE creators for doing this. Thank you 2K for letting us have another game. I think this is our what? This when did their first ever game come out? It should say. Um, it should. I said it wrong. I was looking through this. Why did it say now? Come on, tell me. No, uh, I think the first ever game of WWE came out, or WWF, uh, was 1988. So that, that what's that? Uh, 98, 2008. Almost 30 years of games. But anyways, my name has been Jackie Snow, and I'll see you all in the next video.